Hey everyone, welcome to this lecture. I just wanted to very quickly go over how you would complete this course without having to purchase a Route 53 domain. Now this course is definitely geared towards buying a domain and configuring it and creating a CloudFront distribution and having redirects. Um, that's all good and well, but if you didn't want to spend the money on domain, I can show you how to Basically, you still create a website and deploy it on S3 and still have that as a static website, but without having to pay for the Route 53 domain. Uh, there's a couple caveats. First of all, um, it's not going to support HTTPS traffic. It'll just be HTTP traffic. So definitely, if you're looking to capture information and you want that secure, you'll definitely want to purchase a domain, create an ACM certificate, and make sure that your website will support um, SSL. But you'd basically you just go to the bucket that you configured to be that static website, and you go to properties, and down here, this is going to be the link that you will access. Uh, I'll have another optional lesson that will um, let you create a CloudFront distribution using this um, URL, but you'll still be accessing that bucket through. Um, the CloudFront distribution URL. So it'll still it'll still be verbose like this is, but it'll just be a little bit different. Um, but yeah, that's it. Again, you know, this is HTTP traffic, so it's not secure. Um, but if you don't want to pay for the domain, you can go ahead and skip uh, all the way to the next optional lesson, which will be cr uh, create an ACM-less CloudFront distribution. Um, so yeah. I just wanted to add that in there and we are going to be purchasing a Route 53 domain with Amazon Web Services. Go ahead and log into the AWS console and in the top we're going to search for Route 53. And Route 53 is the domain management service that Amazon provides. If you don't have any domains registered this will look a little bit different but over on the left hand side you should still see something to register domain. We'll go ahead and click register domain up at that top and here you can choose a domain that you want to register. You can also pick the extension that you want to use and depending on what you choose it's going to vary in price. We're just going to leave it as a .com because I think that's one of the cheapest that they provide. Go ahead and enter the domain that you want to register. I'm going to choose Master Pass App because this is an app that I've been working on in my free time. We'll check to see if that domain is available to register and it actually looks like it's unavailable. So let's change that extension to .io and check again to see if that's available. So it looks like it actually is, and it's $39 a year. I'm just going to add that to my cart. And over in the right, you can select how many years you want to register. We'll leave it as one year, and then just scroll down to the bottom and click Continue. Here you'll, you'll be brought to a page where it'll ask for you to fill out your contact details for your domain. It's essentially tying you as the registrant to that domain. So it's just some personal information, first, last name, email, phone number, etc. You can enable or disable privacy protection if you don't want people to find out who you are on the who is queries. That's enabled by default. By default, we'll go ahead and leave that and click continue. And this is the confirmation page after that. You check your contact details, make sure that everything's okay. And then click the I have read and agree to the AWS. Uh, you'll probably want to read it first, uh, but just agree to those terms and conditions. And it'll actually bill you according to what you have set up in your billing dashboard when you first signed up for your AWS account. I'm not actually going to go through and register this domain, but I just kind of wanted to go through the steps and show you exactly how to do that. So it's pretty simple. Uh, click complete order 
and I think the last time that I registered a domain, it took maybe five or ten minutes, not even. Uh, so after you complete your order and it goes through and it registers that domain, it will actually show up here in your registered domains. It will also create a hosted zone for that domain, and the hosted zone will actually let you set up different types of Route 53 uh, DNS configuration for that domain. But that's basically it. That's how you purchase a Route 53 domain through AWS Web Services. If you have time, please join me in the next lecture where we will create an ACM certificate uh, for our domain.